Thank you for watching my sessions on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. I really want to thank you today. Yeah, for all your appreciation and all the comments that I read on my posts. Okay, recently as I was going through the comments, one of you had made a great request. And it read, Hi Michelle. That's my name for those of you who don't know. Okay, so it read, Hi Michelle. Can you share some ideas about how to turn every failure into a success? And so I realized, yes, failure is a real life problem and it requires a real life solution on a real channel that teaches real skills for the real world. Okay, that's getting into too much reality. So let's start our mission to turn every failure into a success through some advice that I have got for you. It's free advice, so take it and grab it. Here we go. Okay, let me start with a question. Do you talk to yourself? Like in the mirror while doing some work? Or maybe when you're organizing an event and you go like, I have to call the chair guy, the catering needs to be done. And gosh, I still haven't decided my outfit for the evening. Do you do that? I do it real often. No, I'm not crazy. I'm normal. But if you don't do it, I've got my doubts. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let me get to the point. While we often talk to ourselves, we often say negative things to ourselves. Of course, like blaming ourselves and holding ourselves responsible for whatever went wrong in our lives. Isn't that true? We often say statements like, it's all because of me. I hate myself. I don't deserve her. I'm such a big mess. My life is never going to get better. If you identify with any of these statements, I must warn you that you are going down the dangerous road. Talking negative to yourself might be the cause of all your failures. As you have become your best discouragement instead of encouragement. So. What should you do? Well, if you find yourself in a situation like this, the solution is to be careful about how you talk to yourself because you are listening. Self-talk can be extremely damaging, especially after a failure. So you must handle your self-talk with care and you must not allow yourself to make yourself feel worthless, especially after a failure. You have to discourage negative thoughts and don't rent them any room in your mind. Remember, that's the devil talking. However, if you try to stay positive by thinking about what you have got than what you have lost, it will be easier for you to get back on track. So I was still for a few seconds. I was not doing anything. I was not moving and I wasn't losing anything. But there was one thing that I was losing. What do you think? It's time. So this is how the normal human brain works after a failure. So right after you fail, you think, okay, I won't try again. And that way I won't even lose. Well, is that true? Does that happen? Do you not lose anything by not trying? Of course, you lose an opportunity to be successful. You're losing your precious time. You're losing your confidence. In my opinion, it is better to fail than to not try. I mean, it's okay if I don't get the job, let me at least apply. Then your devil brain goes, what if my application gets selected and I get rejected at the interview? No, I'm not gonna apply. Well, if you get rejected, so be it. It's not what the destiny has for you, but at least you tried and gained something called as experience. And you did not lose your opportunity to be successful by just not trying. The third thing to remember when trying to turn your success into failure is persevere. Now, what is this where? You must have heard of hardware, software, but what is Perseverance? Well, let's look at the dictionary. 
So persevere by definition is continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no indication of success. So do I need to say more? When you wake up every morning, you think, what do I need to do today while sipping your cup of cappuccino? Well, the answer is today you need to persevere. This has to be your life story. If you really want to make a difference in your life, in your family's life, or in the lives of those around you, you have to persevere. You have to continue. Even in the face of difficulty, even when you feel that you're not really becoming successful, you have to continue. You have no option to stop. Don't stop because you can't see yourself losing weight. Persevere and you will. Don't stop if you can't see yourself achieving your financial targets. Persevere. Don't stop if you're taking too long to learn English. Persevere. Don't quit if your new job is too demanding. And you know it. Persevere. It will only create in you a weight of experience which will help you later in your life. So what do you need to do today and every day? You need to persevere. One is a soldier, but three is an army. Think of this. If I send a soldier to fight a battle alone, hmm, he would lose. But with an army, he can fight the battle and who knows, maybe even win. This is the importance of an army. A soldier needs support to fight a battle and so do you to achieve your targets. I'm trying to say that you can't do it alone. Yes, you cannot. And you don't have to. Sometimes our failures keep us stuck in our old ways and we need support to help us get past our bad habits like laziness, procrastination, talking negative about ourselves. The worst thing we can do is think we need to handle this alone. So you need to confide in a friend, which means you need to share your problems with a friend, a coach or a mentor who you think will provide you the correct support because they have the correct experience and zeal to keep you motivated. So the sum rule is don't go to a battle alone. Take your friends along with you. So here we are learning ways to turn failures into success. If we look closely, failure is the way to success. So don't be shocked if you fail. You are actually on your way to success. Just don't stop. And remember, what do I have to do today? Persevere. I don't have to stop in the middle of difficulty. Thanks for staying with me till the end. Your comments and your support is always noted and appreciated. So keep posting your comments and thank you for making me choose this topic. See you all very soon in another lesson on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Till then, take care and have fun. Bye-bye. Uh, hi. I'm Niharika. Uh... Well, uh, let me try this again. Hi, uh, I am Neharika and I am... Damn! Why can't I just sound confident? Why is it so difficult? Do you all face this? Do you feel that you fumble too much just like how I did? Do you believe that you are probably not sounding confident when you are conversing with people? Well, don't make any mistakes because sounding confident is very, very important and I am here to help you out with that. Well, in order to be successful in your personal and professional life, you need to sound confident. And how do you do that? Well. Watch our complete video where I will help you to sound more confident. And do subscribe to our channel Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Well, I'm going to have this smiley plastered across my face for this entire video. Because I want you to be happy and positive all of the time. That way you will know I'm a nice positive person. Oh God, oh Jesus. Are you convinced? Ah, now, 
Positivity is not about just putting a smile in your face. Positivity needs to come from within. Positivity has to be real and not artificial, just like that smiley on my face. It has to come from the inside. But life isn't always that easy. So how do you stay positive all of the time, in spite of all the struggle and all the chaos in today's world? I believe that if we wait to feel positive or wait for things to happen in our lives before we feel positive, positivity is going to be a really far-fetched dream for us. There has to be a better way to do this. Well, in today's session, I will show you how to stay positive no matter what. So stay tuned with me, Ryan, and watch the complete video on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Check out the links above or in the description below, and I'm gonna see you on Skillopedia, where I'm gonna show you some great tips on how to stay positive. See you there.